uh, we are looking at this very, very interesting concept, interesting question, how to earn in dollars in 2022. I will start off by sharing a quick, uh, a short presentation with you. Then we'll have a practical session where I have the opportunity to share my earnings uh, from some of those platforms for the very first time uh, to everybody in public. Now, to start up um, the conversation around how to earn, what does it mean? To earn means to receive money as payment for work that you do. So uh, if you do a certain work, and you get paid for it, then you are earning from that particular thing. Also, it also means uh, to get a particular amount of money from a product or an activity or a service. So if I sell a pen and I get paid for the pen, that's a product. Uh, and most times products can be physical or intangible. In this age of electronic products uh, i can actually buy an ebook it's a product but it's not physical and i get paid for it or i can render an activity i can render a service that service could be a coaching service it could be a teaching se service it could be a facilitation se service it could be consultation it could be advice anything it could be any service because it's not tangible and i get paid that means i'm earning from that particular uh, thing. That is what it means to end. Now, if I want to end, how do I start? There is a three-prong approach to doing that. The first approach is to discover. Discovering means what am I going to earn from? Am I offering a service? Am I offering a product? You need to decide what you want to offer then you would be able to, at the point of discovering what you want to offer, would determine what you want to earn from. And I can say it for free that every one of us have something to offer for money. We have things, you give advice, and people say, ah, this person, you give advice very well. Why don't you pay a fee for it? Because sometimes when you offer something for free, people don't value it. Uh, and it's the same way at which before now, I give a lot of free stuff. Then one day I discovered, I said, oh, Shagun, if you charge 10 Naira for this and 20 people pays 10 Naira, that's already 200 Naira. That would cover for credit card, basically, as it were. So you need to discover, is it teaching you want to do? Is it speaking? Is it facilitation? Is it coaching? Is it a product? So all of the things I'm mentioning are looking like services. Do you want to sell things online? Do you want to do drop shipping? Drop shipping, it's a new trend uh, in uh, inventory management or online sales to the point at which you do not need to have the physical product. So you could actually sell a biro without having the biro in stock. All you need to do is to stand in the middle. So I would put it online that I want to buy a biro. If you go on Jumia or Conga, some of those things are there. They advertise products, foreign products that they don't have in Nigeria at the moment. So what they do, they will tell you to be shipped from abroad. So they will only order for that product after you pay for it. That's a model in itself. A, you're offering a product. In that scenario, the product is physical. Uh, depending on your kind of person, uh, my kind of person, I may not try selling something physically. But some individuals in this room may be able to sell something physically. Then after you discover uh, that thing you want to be able to sell or you want to end for, then you need to develop it. So take, for example, I want to do teaching online. In my own scenario of what I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to be sharing my YouTube journey and I'm going to be sharing my Udemy journey uh, as an instructor with you. I need to develop my earning potential. Developing my earning potential means I get to know everything I need to know about that particular thing I want to earn from. And I try to be the very best to a very large extent in that thing that I can be able to offer value to people that I can have exchange of money for. You need to develop. Developing means knowing everything about that thing you want to do. 
Developing also means gaining the skills you require. So if I was to teach on Udemy, you need to learn how to teach on Udemy. You need to know how to create your courses. Creating online courses is one of such things. If I want to set up a YouTube channel, you need to know how to do setting up that YouTube channel. So you need to develop. Then you will now deploy. Deploying means you are going to market and you start to earn. Now, you, re you need to realize that deploying also means uh, after you've discovered what you want to sell, you've um, developed what you want to sell, then you now need to know, how do I go to market? So where are the medium at which I'm going to sell? If you want to do online courses, so many of you will be aware that before now, I have custom online courses on Cresita Academy. They are still there. Then Udemy came along. Uh, I've been trying to be on Udemy for close to three years. And boom, last year, I just realized, so I have some YouTube channel, some YouTube videos that I've given out for free. Why don't you just, um, you scattered all over YouTube. Why don't you organize their, that into uh, a course? And that was how I started in September 2021. And I put that up on Udemy. And before then, learning YouTube, uh, I would say everything is like a connected thing. Uh, the pandemic made teaching online very accessible. So this is me now sharing my story of some of the things I'm talking about. So I started online creation of online courses. I started the journey of online courses in 2017. Yeah, that's a long time ago. I, I, I bought my first screen uh, screencasting software software that can record the screen that was even before zoom became very popular so today i don't really need to invest money in screencasting software i can teach a zoom session with nobody in the class and i will record myself and this stuff that's an online course you need to learn all of those things yes when i started taking youtube serials then i started to buy gears uh, things around the microphone i could use my phone some of those things that you could do more like sharing my story. So now, my very first Udemy course was released in September 2021. And I released that course for free. Everybody will wonder, why would Shergun release a course for free? It was a strategy. I have a mentor that mentored me on YouTube. And he's been on Udemy for like, since 2017. He has uh, about five or seven courses on Udemy at the moment. and so I have wanted to be on Udemy. There are a lot of verification process. I'll, I'll mention some of them uh, in the course of me sharing my journey with you. There are a lot of verification process you need to be done, things around uh, passport verification, then payment. So yes, you are in Nigeria. Payment in dollars can be an issue. So there are two means of uh, payments that can be done. Interestingly, for YouTube, I get to be paid in my DOM account, but for Udemy, I get to be paid in my PayPal account. Now, the other question now comes in. If you are opening a PayPal account from Nigeria, so I think it's good I share my screen now. I think I'm going to share my screen so that uh, every one of us can start to see uh, some of the conversation uh, that we have. Please, if you can see, uh, so I'm, I'm actually sharing this for the very first time. This is my Udemy uh, payment page. Uh, this is what I currently earn at the moment. Uh, so you can see right about September 2021, uh, my course was launched on Udemy. As at the time I launched that course on Udemy, it was free. Now, this was the whole idea. The whole idea is to be able to get as many people to trust me on the platform. So I needed to offer a service for free. Udemy is a numbers game. A uh, numbers game in the sense that there are a lot of, uh, the way the fees are being made for each course. And you know for free that Udemy can slash your courses. <laughs> That's one of the things that Udemy thrive on. You could uh, put up a course for $59 and Udemy does a promotion and is selling that course for $9.99. Now, the interesting thing about it is that the courses I put on Udemy, I do very little advertising. So it's almost like a passive income. Now, uh, when I started to look at my Udemy, my first month in Udemy was $32. Then November came, 
there was um, Black, um, Black Friday. Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. And every sales, 90% or let me say uh, 95% of the sales I've made on Udemy, I did not do advertising. Udemy has been doing all the advertising for me. So it's almost like I put on the course and everything runs on autopilot. Now, after I created the first course, uh, which is uh, this, uh, Employee Performance Management uh, for Managers, it was free. Then there's a tool within Udemy I can get to know what is trending, what are the important uh, courses that are invoked. Then I discovered HR analytics. Then I created the HR analytics using Excel for beginners. And immediately I created that course. It was almost like I opened up a channel or a bowel into my monetization on Udemy or getting paid for that. Then I created email resources for beginners. Then recently, uh, which is the most recent one, HR analytics uh, using how to use Excel to create HR dashboard. And I'm, as of yesterday, I started creating my fifth course on Udemy. Now, let me take you through the journey. It can be in trickles, but I'll say something has been very interesting uh, that I must say about my Udemy journey. Number one is that in October, uh, after removing their taxation, I only uh, got paid $30. Then the magic starts to happen. This is when I started to ask myself, what's happening here? Then in November, it went to $141. Then December was a massive, <laughs> was a massive month. And that month, it was $238. <laughs> Very interesting. And this is January. And January... This is just the 5th of January, and this is what the sales look like. So I'm almost thinking maybe my January sales is going to exceed December sales. And now you start to look at this and say, this looks very small. This is $677. Uh, but I want to give you, I want to just oppose it. I told you I have a mentor that has, that has been on Udemy since 2017. And interestingly, he only uh, he was sharing his uh, Udemy sales with me, and he has about one thousand two hundred dollars from the time he started in twenty seventeen. They are not in the same field. The kind of courses I put on Udemy is different from the courses he also puts on Udemy. And here am I thinking I'm not doing well, and I saw this. I just kept quiet. If I only started in September. And I'm already at six seventy-seven dollars. I imagine what would happen in the next three years when I create courses that make sense. And interestingly, Udemy can you can get to know which courses are making sense. There's a tool within Udemy if you become an instructor. So becoming an instructor is easier. Uh, you need to have an Udemy account uh, as a student. Then within the platform, you can register as a an instructor. Then you do verification, uh, your passport verification. Yes, I had to uh, take a government ID in Nigeria, scanned it to them on uh, more like a on my webcam, and it was verified before I could start earning. Then you need to get a means of payment. So I use PayPal to receive my payments from Udemy. And the PayPal account that I used was not created in Nigeria. Yes, I needed to be frank and I needed to be open. If you create a PayPal account in Nigeria, you will not be able to receive uh, funds into your account. So thank God to VPN. I just discovered that in Lesotho, Lesotho is a, is a country in, in Africa, that in Lesotho, you can open an Udemy account that can receive and get paid in dollars. You can pay and receive. So I just used my Udemy, uh, my VPN from Nigeria. I went to Lesotho, traveled to Lesotho on my laptop, created a... Lesotho PayPal account, and to, that is what I used to receive my Udemy account. So this is where you get to see the courses that are making sense on Udemy. Uh, it's called Marketplace. So I did HR analytics, just trying to give you an idea uh, in comparison. So if I think that I'm not making so much money, this is what it means. So average, the median uh, revenue that anybody makes for creating an HR analytics course on Udemy is 87 but look at my own sales. I made $30 in the first month of get, being paid. I had, I, it went to $140, $130. Then it went to 200 plus. Then currently this month is already past 200. So that means I am doing well compared to the median uh, average monthly revenue on courses on 
then these are the high paying guys basically so this is how i got to know that analytics was really a major uh course on udemy this is the best the best seller course so what i had to do was i needed to check what that individual was doing well and what i was not doing well whatever the case may be so this is udemy just giving you a, a brief then let me go to um youtube so everybody knows i do youtube and i got monetized in august 2021 uh, after taking the miss uh, what um after taking youtube serious from uh 2020 and till date uh so i got monetized in august of 2021 and till date the total revenue estimated revenue on Ude on youtube is 253 dollars now you can see what is happening here i got monetized in august on udemy on sorry i got monetized on youtube in august of 2021 i started my i launched my course on udemy in september started getting paid in october until dates the money that have been made on udemy has already do uh, let me say is times times three of what is on youtube so youtube is only 53 253 dollars from august till date udemy is already crossed 600 dollars on udemy alone so that means that interestingly youtube has more work to be done but udemy once you put on the courses there you start to make all the money on the go and for for youtube uh the opportunity to get paid uh youtube gives you the opportunity to use a dumb account so i have a youth uh, a dollar account uh which i've got a payment already my first payment on um, youtube is hundred dollars that was paid in november uh, i'm expecting another payment later this month uh, you can see what it is. So either um, YouTube has a threshold. Uh, they only pay you when your money, uh, your monetized monetized fee crosses hundred dollars. So that's why uh, they don't pay all the time. But unlike uh, Udemy, that gets paid every three months as it were. So that is me sharing my journey uh, of Udemy with you. Then, in order to help, uh, basically. Uh, I'm not going to leave you hanging.